My name is Claire Davy. I'm a tax director in KPMG and I'm here today to talk to you about managing PAYE compliance in challenging times. We're living in an environment where more data is being captured and shared globally and this increases the risk of non-compliance. Employers are also adjusting to new ways of working and global mobility adds complexity to the compliance process including unexpected cross-border displacement of employees. The introduction of real-time reporting, or RTR for short, has seen more stringent reporting requirements and more is now expected of employers and the way they manage their compliance obligations. So how has the PAY landscape changed in Ireland since 2019? Well, number one, RTR has fundamentally changed the PAY system and the way employers interact with revenue. Revenue are now accessing taxpayer data in real time. Number two, the onset of the COVID pandemic has also had a significant impact on the operation of PAYE and the COVID income support schemes have presented their own unique set of complexities for payroll operators. Number three, we're currently seeing a significant increase in cross-border remote working and this gives rise to a number of tax and social security issues and the correct operation of PAYE is a key part in managing employee movements. So what can employers expect to see in the immediate future? Well, number one, the Irish revenue have clearly embraced technology, and this can be seen most notably in the area of PAY modernisation. Leveraging new technology is a key component of revenue's compliance strategy, and raising RTR compliance is high on the agenda. Unsurprisingly, the level of revenue audit activity is on the increase and revenue interventions are benefiting from this increased data capture. Number three, some temporary and personal tax concessions introduced in 2020 remain in force and so a thorough working knowledge of these reliefs is essential for employers to help reduce BIK charges where appropriate. And finally, further wage subsidy supports will be important and necessary to aid economic recovery and access to knowledge on these vital supports will be key for employers throughout 2021. So what are the risks associated with non-compliance? Well, as you'll have heard, revenue audits and aspect queries are on the increase. The window of opportunity for self-correction has narrowed significantly. The financial and reputational risks associated with non-compliance are far greater than ever before. And interest on penalties can prove costly and also lead to publication if not managed correctly. So in brief, what actions should employers consider at this time? Well, number one, undertake a self-review of RTR administration to date. Number two, identify any historical errors and take action as appropriate. And number three, ensure robust PAYE controls are in place, including an up-to-date record of where globally mobile employees are located. So if you have any queries in relation to the PAY matters discussed today, please feel free to contact me or your usual KPMG contact.